Hi, I'm Dr. Lance Sullenberger of Capital Cardiology Associates. Atrial fibrillation is the most common rhythm abnormality we see in the United States. In atrial fibrillation, the top chambers of the heart go electrically haywire, which causes the bottom chambers to beat fast and irregularly. Atrial fibrillation causes two major problems. One is that many patients get symptoms of palpitations from it. The other problem is it's a major risk factor for stroke. The stroke occurs because those top chambers, when they're not contracting, can form blood clots. Those blood clots can then break off and go to the brain. So it really requires treatment of both the palpitations as well as blood thinning to prevent the stroke. In atrial fibrillation, there are two major approaches that we see to treatment. One is with medicines. The medicines that we use to treat atrial fibrillation will be either to control the heart rate to prevent the palpitations which can occur, or to prevent blood clots to prevent the strokes that can occur. In addition, if your symptoms aren't controlled with medications, many times patients will have procedures performed, specifically a procedure called an ablation, which helps eliminate atrial fibrillation altogether. When we look at the causes of atrial fibrillation, the most common cause is aging process. But there are other reversible causes that we see, things like high blood pressure, sleep apnea, diabetes, lack of exercise. All these things contribute to the development of atrial fibrillation. On the other hand, treatment of those things, such as keeping blood pressure under control, keeping diabetes under control, getting sleep apnea under control, losing weight, exercising, can all help prevent atrial fibrillation in the long term. There are several medications that you may be on for treatment of atrial fibrillation. Medications that can slow down the heart rate, medications that can put the heart back into normal rhythm and keep it there, or medications that can help prevent the risk of stroke. Patients with atrial fibrillation have five times the risk of developing a stroke. Medications that are used in the treatment of atrial fibrillation can potentially interact with other medications for other disease states. So it's always important to talk to your healthcare provider about any questions you may have or concerning interactions with medications. So in summary, if you're having symptoms such as palpitations, fatigue, lack of exercise uh, tolerance, then I would consider a workup for atrial fibrillation. It's important that it get treated and it's important that the stroke risk be addressed. I'm Dr. Lance Sullenberger of Capital Cardiology Associates. And I'm Kate Cabral, clinical pharmacist at Capital Cardiology Associates.